Hello, this is Dr. Mike. Today we're going to talk about making printed circuit boards. I have quite a few hobbies. Some of my hobbies require the use of circuits. I like to install the circuits on printed circuit boards. I've made printed circuit boards in the past using some methods that are out there, but I haven't been real happy with the results. So I decided to come up with a, a different method of making printed circuit boards. I like the results. It gives you nice, clean, sharp printed circuit boards. And I think you'll like them too. So let's get started. I researched using screen print to build my printed circuit boards. And again, I wasn't really happy with the results. But then I realized I could paint that photo emulsion directly onto the copper clad boards and then make a negative and expose it to light. And it worked. I'll show you the process. To prepare the copper clad boards, they've been cut and cleaned. They were cleaned using a liquid soap and a scrub sponge with a Brillo type scrub pad. I will be making six like printed circuit boards during this run. Tape the copper clad boards to a scrap piece of wood or cardboard to hold them in place while applying the photo emulsion. I use double sided stick tape. Photo emulsion for screen printing can be purchased at a hobby store, craft store, online, or you may be able to acquire a few ounces from a friend you know who does screen printing. A few ounces of emulsion is more than required for the six boards I will be preparing. If you purchase a kit, it may supply six to eight ounces. I mixed about one third of the photo emulsion and sensitizer for my immediate needs. The safety data sheet for the material can be found through the internet. The safety data sheet has good information regarding hazards, handling, personal protection, and disposal. The photo emulsion can be worked under normal indoor lighting, but you do want to limit exposure to light. It should be stored in a dark, cool place. Apply the photo emulsion, then spread it thoroughly and evenly with a foam brush. Do not apply it too thick. You want to see the copper under the photo emulsion. Small bubbles may form in the photo emulsion. Do not worry about the small bubbles. Put the boards in a dark place to let them dry. While the emulsion is drying, we'll go ahead and make our negatives. I have a transparency film for laser printers. And what you want to do is be very careful when you line this up inside your printer. You want it snug against the guides on the side and try to put nice even pressure against the backstop for the paper. And the reason is we will want to run this transparency through the printer twice. One run doesn't necessarily give you dark enough background in your negative. We want to block, block off as much light as possible when we expose the circuit boards to the light. Again, trying to put as equal pressure against the backstop of the paper, make sure things are lined up well. I run the print through again.
nice negative here. No shadows. The emulsion is dried now. We'll go ahead and take the boards off of the wood board. Take the tape off. We'll go ahead and trim our negatives. We'll line the negatives up with our board, with our printed circuit boards, under the light. Okay, it's nice to use tape to hold uh, the negatives in place. It's nice to have some printing on your negatives so you know which end is up. We'll line the cir printed circuit board underneath our negative the best we can. And then we'll hold the negatives down next to the printed circuit boards with a piece of glass. You want to clean the glass as well as you can before you lay it down on the printed circuit boards. And that will now uh, lay Again, the negatives down as flat as possible. Now we'll turn the light on. I have the light set about eight inches above the printed circuit boards. This is a 150 watt bulb. I have a pie tin used as a reflector. And what we'll do is we'll let this set for about an hour and 15 minutes. The board sat under the light for about one and a half hours. The timing is not an exact science. It needs to set long enough for the exposed photo emulsion to harden. Let's turn the light off. The photo emulsion will look darker after it's properly exposed. The next step is to rinse the unexposed emulsion off. Rinse the unexposed emulsion off using lukewarm water. Use a foam brush very lightly to wash the board. Don't be too aggressive with it. The emulsion exposed to the light hardens and becomes a mask to the etchant. Wash the emulsion off well. Any residue left on the board will mask the etchant. It is nice to have the holes etched. The drill bits will track nicely to the proper location if the holes are etched. At this point, the board is ready for the etchant. Dad the board dry with a paper towel. It doesn't hurt to let the emulsion set a little longer under the light before applying the etchant. I use ferric chloride as an etchant. The safety data sheet for ferric chloride can be found in the internet. The safety data sheet has important information regarding hazards, first aid measures, handling, personal protection, and disposal. If you use other etchants, you should check the safety data sheet for those as well and check the compatibility with the photo emulsion. I do not dilute the ferric chloride with water. I found the photo emulsion tends to fall away from the board when the etchant is diluted. Put the board in a dish and pour a few ounces of etchant over the board, just enough to cover the board. Occasionally agitate the etchant over the board. Do not wipe the board with a sponge. You may wipe off the masking. Occasionally agitate the etchant over the board. When the exposed copper is etched from the board, the board can be removed from the etchant. I place the boards in a first stage rinse before I scrub the masking off the board. I will dispose of the spent etchant and first stage rinse at the county waste disposal site.
A scrub sponge is used to remove the photoemulsion mask from the printed circuit board. Like I said, there were six printed circuit boards that I made during this run. Let's see how they turned out. The printed circuit boards have nice clean edges with fine detail. There's no pitting on the copper. There are a few locations where the drill hole locations were not etched. This is because the unexposed photoemulsion was not completely rinsed away. A small film of the emulsion was left and masked the etchant from the copper. I can work with these. The boards look good. Something to be proud of attaching your name to. The next steps are to drill the holes and solder the components to the boards. Enjoy.